Hi. Uh, today I'll be dealing with uh, the elevation of the wrist in certain forms. There are, uh, given the number of forms that uh, one has to practice, there is a sort of a confusion that creeps in at times uh, as to what the elevation of the wrist should be. First thing is the uh, knee brush itself. Typically what I see is that the wrist elevation is already already lowered when the circling happens. Well, I do not understand why uh, as to what advantage that will give, me, give you. But one uh, aspect that I uh, look for is the elevation has to descend in and uh, gathering up the momentum as a block, as you go into a block. For instance, if you were to go for the left knee brush from the white crane spreads wings. First, you prepare the position and the wrist, the left wrist is at a higher elevation. And as you step in, the elevation lowers as you go into the block. It is never going to be the case uh, where you would actually assume the position, let the wrist lower and then perform the left knee brush left uh, left knee brush after the white print spread swings the reason being that you have a higher potential and it the wind arm going into the lower potential there is much more natural rather than you have to lower losing all of that energy that you could have exploited and then moving into the 